Hi, my name is Todd Lamley and welcome to Module 1 of a 14-module series covering the latest in the CCNA objectives. This first module is called Introduction to Internetworking and will cover basic networking, which includes the difference between hubs, routers, and switches, the OSI reference model as Cisco sees it. I know all of us have heard about the OSI reference model, or if you haven't, you're about to, and of course, Ethernet networking. Now, each of these modules correspond directly to the chapters in my latest CCNA study guide. I recommend highly that you use the CYBAC CCNA study guide with these modules, but it's not a requirement. You can use any CCNA study guide to go along with these modules, as this is just a technical discussion of the CCNA objectives. Let's go ahead and get started with Module 1, Introduction to Internetworking. The basic network is comprised of at least two or more hosts connected together typically using some type of segmentation device, but this is not a segmentation device. This is a hub. This is an icon for a hub which just connects network segments together. If this is Bob and this is Sally, how will they communicate? If you've read my chapter one or will read my chapter one, you'll see that I use the Bob and Sally analogy and how they communicate. The first thing that has to happen is name resolution. For example, if Bob types from his command prompt, Talnet Sally, the first thing that has to happen is name resolution. Now this is going to occur by either DNS, so that's the typical way that happens today, or through what's called a host table that's built on each host. So that's not going to happen too often today. Now Bob now has Sally's IP address, or what we're going to call a logical address. Because when I say IP address, throughout this course we're going to mean IP version 4. Until we get to section 13 or module 13 where we talk about IP version 6. Don't get stressed out, it's not that hard, but let's stick with IP version 4 for a long time for the next 12 modules. Anyway, so Bob has now resolved Sally's IP address and says, okay, I'm telling it to Sally, her IP address is 1.1.1.1 or whatever it is. And for him to be able to communicate on the LAN, now this is an Ethernet network. If we're using a hub or even a switch, as we'll find out, this is called a LAN, local area network. And for us to communicate on the LAN, we cannot use logical addressing as an IP. We must convert the IP addresses or resolve them to a MAC address or hardware address. These are burned into each NIC card from the manufacturer. Now, you can override these, but typically we won't do that. So we'll typically use the hardware addresses that, we come, that come with each PC when they come from the manufacturer. So now, how do we resolve the IP address to hardware address so I can communicate to Sally? Well, we're going to learn about that in Chapter 2, but just for the answer for now, it's called ARP or Address Resolution Protocol. So Bob now has Sally's IP address. He has her MAC address. Now he can communicate to Sally using this information. Now, this hub is just a multi-port port repeater. It is not a switch. In other words, that we don't look at hardware addresses. We don't look at IP addresses. We just look at digital signaling. The basic internet work is comprised of two or more LANs connected together using a router. This is a router icon. The router is what uses logical addresses and we must understand the different logical addresses and this is how we perform routing.